Hello students, myself Mongshumi Shah, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Engineering Department, Narula Institute of Technology. Today in this lecture we discuss about introduction to operating system. That is our first lecture. Before moving to the topic, it would be better to first understand why we need operating system. That means the objective of operating system. To describe the basic organization of computer system, to provide a tool of the major component of operating systems, to give an overview of the many type of computing environment, to explore several open source system. After completing the course of operating system, the student will learn the following topics. First, overview and system structure that is followed by process management in which we cover process concept, multi-thread programming, process scheduling, then process coordination where synchronization and deadlock topic will be dis discussed, then memory management where memory management strategies and virtual memory concept will be discussed then storage management system under this file management io system management disk management will be discussed and lastly protection and security so what is an operating system an operating system is a program that act as an interface between the user and the computer hardware and control the execution of all kinds of program. An operating system is a collection of program and utilities. It acts as an interface between the computer and the user. It creates a user-friendly environment. For example, a user want to copy a program from a pen drive to hard disk. So, they have to copy it. Okay. So the user copy the program very easily with the help of operating system. Suppose a user want to copy the program without operating system. Then the user have to write a code to copy command. Then only the user can copy the program with the help of user written copy command. It is very difficult for a, a user. So the operating system create a user friendly environment. It is the main function of operating system. Another main function of operating system is resource management. The operating system collect all the resources in the network environment and allocate the resources requesting processes in efficient manner. The operating system act like a government. The government collect all the money from various resources like public sector, companies, taxes, etc. and distribute the money to the different development activities. Same as the OS collect the resources from network environment or within a system and grant the resources to the requesting job. This is the abstract view of a system component. The structure of operating system consists of four layers. These are hardware, software, operating system, system and application program. Okay. The hardware part consists of CPU, main memory, input output device, secondary storage, etc. Uh, the operating system consists of process management routine, memory management routine, IO management routine, file management routine. And the system and application program consists of compiler, assembler, linker, text editor, DBMS system, etc. To interact, uh, suppose a user want to perform a job that, uh, so to act the hardware it needs a operating system the goals of operating system uh, convenience the first point is convenience 
the convenience of a user who perform a job using computer system it is the prime goal of an operating system let us understand the user requirement like hardware abstraction the user does not want to care about the hardware resources and to access its devices because of the detail of the all hardware are too complex to work therefore the operating system provide an abstraction layer between the user and hardware so that the user can work on the hardware without actually knowing it now convenient program environment the process of program execution includes several steps we would have a good editor to write a program debugger to debug the program linker loader etc the operating system provide all these facilities to a programmer so that the convenient environment is present and the user can concentrate on the programming and nothing else now response time the user desire have to immediate response from the job this desire has resulted in the development and multi user and multitasking operating system easy to use interface the user convenience has taken another shape when the use of gui became popular this was another goal of operating system which resulted in mac os and windows os the use of an operating system in the form of gui makes the user understand the operating system moreover a user is relieved from the remembering the command which is needed to be typed in older unix and dos system now resource utilization the operating system grant access to the resources from different user it keep track of which task is using in which resources keep account of uses of the resources it resolve the conflict request from user utilize the hardware and other resources in the best possible manner and lastly protection due to multi programming and multitasking there was a challenge that one user should not be able to access other user area memory area in memory similarly one user should not be able to access the operating system area in memory for this purpose hardware was first modified and then protection features are added in the operating system the computer system generic component uh, this diagram provides hardware the generic structure of an operating system is discussed the detailed structure is various type of will be discussed later in this figure we see the computer system where the operating system fits therein we have seen the operating system is a interface between the user application and hardware it means whatever the job a user want to perform through the hardware of the computer system it will be performed by the operating system on behalf of the user but there is a question how you tell the operating system the functions you want to perform it means there should be an interface by the mean of which the user tell the operating system to perform operations on the hardware this interface is place where the user give a command through the control statement for this uh, program is known as command interpreter or cell there is a clear separation of user application on os and hardware cell may be in the graphical form of whereas the command are in the form of mouse based windows and menu system used in windows os or command form whereas the command typed by the user in the ms dos or unix operating system and what are the functions of operating system operating system manages the process manage the memory manage the file it manages the device input output system it manages the secondary storage it manages the security 
it will look after the networking part and communication management thank you if you have any query feel free to contact me this is my mail id okay thank you